Hello and welcome to another episode of Game on Onesies. I'm Slash Raptor and this is Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm just here. Uh, I don't know where I am exactly. Uh, I'm near Strawberry and I found this uh, this lumber mill and there's they're being attacked by wolves and I think this is also the same place that I was going to be sent the, the lumber mill I think is the same place I was going to be sent for a different quest so they want you to go out and kill some wolves which sounds simple enough but this game has a really weird mechanic that I absolutely can't stand where for no particular reason and without any warning when you're fighting any predator it'll just randomly instantly kill you there's no way to fight it there's no way to kick it off there's no way to know when it's gonna happen why that's not fair how do I fight something that just kills me in one shot like there's a couple of times where it'll lunge at you and sometimes you'll swing it away but then the next time it lunges at you and then it just eats you and you have to watch it doesn't even give you the ability to try and fight it off like if it gives you like a context sensitive thing and it says tap square repeatedly to fight it off and I fail and then I die instantly yeah that will be fine because it's my fault for not pressing square properly but I've died six times to these fucking wolves I can usually kill about two or three but then I end up getting eaten alive by the third one and I have to start the whole thing over again I don't understand why they decided to make this a thing I had a, I had, I had a similar issue with a white panther or uh, it was a cougar, but it was pure white. You had to go and get one of the debts back for Air Strauss or whatever his name is. And the guy that you had to get the debt from didn't have the money, so instead he was going to give you the pelt from this white cougar. And he takes you over to its lair so you can skin it. But then you're in a really dark cave. You can't see anything. You have to hold the lantern, and then this, pan this, this cougar will just kill you in one shot. So I ended up failing like eight times and then the game let me skip the cutscene and I instantly got it. So this will probably be the time when it's going to ask me to skip it if I fail this. And I don't understand who thought it would be a good idea to make these things just be able to kill you instantly without giving you any way of fighting it off. That's not fun for me. It's challenging if there's actually a way to kill it, but this is just stupid. Yeah, so they they want you to go up here. It's not that I don't have guns. I've got guns. So I've got my repeater here. Maybe I'm not going about this the right way. Okay, here. Scarlet, let's see. What if... Oops, hang on. What if I take out my sniper instead? My rolling rock. I recently did a bank job with, um... What are, what's her name? The, the blonde girl. Um... I forget her name. Karen. And then there was also Lenny and, and Bill Williamson. And we robbed a bank in, um, Valentine and we ended up getting away like thousands and thousands of dollars so like with one mission I went from having like less than a hundred dollars to two hundred and fifty like to two thousand I went from having no money at all to having two thousand five hundred dollars and I'm used the, and I used a lot of it to buy some outfits and fix all my guns so that they all look the same I wanted to have everything have the have a gold metal paint but not all guns have that for some reason no Scarlet Oop, hang on. Get out of here. Yeah, see, they, they came up to me. So now I have the wrong gun for this. Fuck off, piece of shit wolves. There, see, they do that. And then they do this. And then you can't fight it. It just you just die. There's nothing there's nothing you can do to stop it. You just die instantly. Screw this fucking thing. Oh no, this isn't a mission, so it's not gonna ask me. It's gonna force me to kill these things. One way or another. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Dying instantly, it's something I have no control over stopping. It's just it's just so incredible how 
much depth they went into. This is exactly why I don't do hunting in this game. First of all, it's bullshit. Second of all, it's boring. And third of all, if you're hunting predators, they're going to kill you. I have no problem if you could kill something in this game and then you just have the skin. But they added this system that's infuriating. Because hunting for me is already hard enough because I'm not very good at it. But I would be willing to practice getting better at it if I knew that the reward was going to be the same regardless. So now not only do I have to get better at hunting, I have to get good enough at hunting to know which things I want to kill so that I actually get a decent pelt. Like, all these things that you need pelts for, it only works if you get a perfect pelt. So first you have to find a good animal, then you have to get a good kill so as not to damage the rest of the pelt. It's just, it's just ridiculous, and I, I never even bothered with it. Okay, so, because these wolves are fucking annoying, um, I guess this is not gonna work. I was trying to be stealthy, but they didn't, it didn't work. Huh, <sighs> so, um, I don't know. This is just not gonna work very well at all. Okay, now. See, and every time I die, I have to use more healing things. Why? Why do they do that? If they're gonna start me again, why can't they start me with full cores? What does that accomplish? I thought the whole point of me dying was that I died and, I'd act and I would start again with full health. Like, I, I don't understand why they do that. Or why they put you in these weird places. Like, I don't want to be over here. I want to start back in that camp so that I don't have to do this part every single time. It's one thing if you die during a checkpoint. That doesn't that doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm fine with that because you'll start again right where you died. But this thing isn't considered a main mission. So every time you die, it thinks that you're just dying to some random thing in the wild. You know, since I'm not hunting, I might as well use some dynamite, because these things are pissing me off. I was blowing up some cows earlier. I just, I was, I was just, I wanted to see if I could rob a place, but I didn't want to rob someplace, you know, public. I'm not the part of the game where you can't do anything in roads, except for story missions. Um, because you can't, you, you, you're, you're deputized, so you, you, you can't do too much dangerous stuff. But, like, how far away did they put me? Oh, no, I'm not even doing, I'm not even going in the right direction, am I? No. No, I, nah. Where'd I end up? Where'd the wolves go? Where are they? Where are the wolves? What happened? Where was the quest for it? There. Now where is it? Where did they put? Where did they put it? It was there. It was right there. Now somehow I went away? Where is my mission? I need to do that. How did I end up getting mixed around? I'm so confused right now. Where the hell did that mission go? See, this is what's pissing me off. Where are they putting me when I spawn? This doesn't make any sense. The last three times that I died, I died right down the road. And now this time, I'm way over here, and I have no idea where I am now. And my mission is gone from my mini-map and my big map. So how am I supposed to kill those wolves if I can't see where they are? Is this it? No, I don't know what this is. Some sort of a person in here, it looks like. Huh. I am so confused right now. 
What happened to my wolf killing mission? That was the whole thing I was trying to do here. Why can't you use your journal or your your quest log to lo to mark things on your map? Like it's right here. This thing is clearly still here, but I can't put it on my map. Yes, I want to do this. Put it on my map. Like, I, if I do this, it goes away. And I don't see that Applebee seed thing on the map. It's too small. Is this it, maybe? I'm still trying to figure out why it ended up going away. Oh, and about those dinosaur bones? I have no idea. I have a guidebook, which is basically putting me right where they are, and I find absolutely nothing. Do I have to do something? Like, do I have to blow them up and excavate them? I'm so confused about some of these things. And I look in the book and, like, some of the rewards for these things are just stupid and pointless. I have a legendary fish. Someone living near is known for their interested fish. Oh, okay. Yeah, is this it? No, this isn't it. I don't know what this is. <laughs> See, I don't know where where I am or what I what what happened. Somewhere around here there was a logging camp. And I don't see it anywhere in this area now. But I was right there. Why is it not adding it to my to my map? I I don't see where it was. A lot of the locations that they have on here are too small, so they don't actually show up on the map, even when I'm zooming way in. Like, this is a zoomed-in level that is useless to me. But I can't... There! Here! It's here! Son of a bitch. But where is my wolf thing, then? Why is that not here anymore? It should still be showing up. So somehow I ended up getting so turned around that I went this way... Even though I turned off my marker from this, I want I was trying to go here when I started the episode, and then I stumbled upon the the mission at the the, the lumber yard. So I turned it off and switched it to the lumber yard. And then when I got to the lumber yard, they had me go do the wolf. So then I switched my marker to the wolf thing, and then I died three times. And then I started the recording. So then I died a second time, and it seemed to have moved my marker back to the stable originally. Which is weird, because I didn't do that. Okay, well, I think I've got it straightened, sort of straightened out now. Oh, and this is still Scarlet the horse, by the way. I love her. I bought a racing horse earlier, but he didn't do anything. He wasn't, he, he didn't seem that, he didn't really seem faster to me. So I, I ended up selling him for $100. Not as much as I paid for him, but I just wanted to try him. There's another kind of horse. Like, there's the regular ones, there's the racing ones, and then there's these bigger ones. And I want to try a bigger one, because I think they might be easier to control, because when you're going really fast with this one, or a racing horse, it's kind of hard to steer. So I'm thinking that if I get a bigger one, it won't be able to go as fast, which would be good, because it'd be easier to control it. But I haven't found any stables that are selling those big guys anymore, which is why I was trying to go to the strawberry stable. And then I got distracted with this thing. So maybe I was going in the right direction. I don't know, I'm so confused. I thought we did this already. And I don't rec and I don't remember seeing this on my way there the last couple of times when I died.
But at least now I know that I can probably blow up the stupid wolves, because it's not a hunting mission. I was talking about how I was blowing up some cows, because I, I was trying to rob a place, but I didn't want to rob somewhere that would have a lot of people watching or where I would get a really big bounty, so I just picked this random farmhouse. Yeah, here. Now it's telling me. Oh, I guess because... I guess because it's not a mission, per se, you have to be within the range of the place for it to show up on your map. I guess that's why, but that's kind of annoying and inconvenient. Alright, so, we're gonna go over here. And... Yeah, these are the guys that need help. And I also need to get some lumber from here, I think. So, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna take my weapons. Oh, I've got them with me already? Alright, cool. So, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go over here. And let's see if I can actually kill these stupid wolves. Scarlet, you better not follow me. I love you, but stay there. Because she showed up last time and I couldn't get her to go away. And then that's how I got distracted was because I was trying to get her to leave me alone and stop following me. If you don't hit her, if you don't hit her sometimes she follows you as if... Yeah, here. So, you gotta be careful with it. Get this... Piss off, you stupid wolves. Oh, I got him! I got him! There's one more. I got him! <laughs> well, I got the <laughs> wolves, and I almost killed myself. But I got the stupid wolves. Oh, you're coming with me, you son of a bitch. Oh, that's satisfying. Look at the size of that thing. You see, anyway, I, so I was robbing this farm, and the guys there, they had like eight cents. So I was so mad that I wasted my time that I slaughtered everyone. And then I found a fire, and then I burned all their bodies, and then there was a huge field full of cows. So... I took some dynamite and I started blowing up the cows, thinking that I would be able to get some of the pelts from them. And... You can't. And I, I figured that out the hard way, that if you blow them up, it doesn't work. You can't even get the meat from them. I can understand not being able to get the pelt, but you should still be able to get the meat. Like, if you look at the body, it doesn't look ruined at all. The only reason it's... it's the only reason you can't is because the game says it's ruined. But that's not ruined, that's a, actually a pretty good shape wolf. Well, anyway, we did kill them, so we're going to go back and get our reward. Our glorious reward, which I feel is not nearly enough for all that stress and irritation. I was not sure that was going to work, and I almost killed myself in the process, but I killed them. It doesn't matter how I killed them. It's not like I needed to do it a specific way, or it's not like I was trying to strive for something. Alright, so we're going to... Oops, hang on. Let me just... Uh, Mmm. Candies. Why does your satchel close every time you eat something from it? Like, what if I want to eat two things from my thing? It closes every time you eat something. It's very annoying. Um. And, like, see, I want to do... This. I might as well do another one. There. Now we can do it. Uh, you're not the... No, you're not the... Pr it's this one. This guy. And Howley, you got some good news for me? Yep, it's done. <laughs> That's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Well, he's right there on the table. Don't well, you can't hand it to me? Oh. Me and wolves go way back. That was definitely worth it. Now, uh... There was something else around here that I needed for a quest. Um, 
Where was it here? This one. Father and son are building a house. Find a wagon of lumber to aid the house. Lumber may be available at Appleseed Timber, located in Big Valley. Okay, so then how do I get the lumber, though? Oh, okay. So it's 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 here. Now then, let's go to the stable now, which is what we were trying to do in the first place before I got so rudely interrupted by those stupid wolves. Yep. And I'll bet you that after all this work that I put into getting there, he's not even going to have any of the horses that I'm looking for. I wish you could sell some of your weapons. I have so many guns on me that I never use. Like, there's like eight kinds of revolvers, there's like another six kinds of different rifles. I only need one. I, I need my sniper, I need my pump-action shotgun, I need my... what is it? It's not... it's the Lancaster repeater, and then I maybe need one of my revolvers here, a Midnight's pistol. I can finally dual wield, but it's not very effective. I find that I'm mostly just shooting with one, as opposed to two, and it took me forever to figure out how to actually do a wield them. This didn't look like anything, this looked like it was going back to the next menu. So I kept doing this, and then trying to do this, and equip them at the same time, till finally I figured out how to dual wield it, and it wasn't even that useful. It's kind of weird. This game is full of tutorials for things that you only end up having to do one time. It teaches you how to do it. And then other things it doesn't tell you at all. Like, it never tells you how to open your quest log. I know how to open the journal, but the journal doesn't really do anything. It's not helpful to me. It just has little drawings in it. I need the quest log. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to open it. And I would occasionally accidentally open it, but I didn't remember how I was accidentally opening it because I wasn't trying to. So I had to reddit it, and I found out that you just tap, you just press left. But it's not helpful because you can't, you, you can't map things to it. You, you, it. It'll do it automatically for side missions, but it won't do it for other, for other objectives, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a quest log if you can't put things on your map. So I have to rely on the custom markers, which is what I'm doing for this place. Alright, let's see. Do you guys... Oops, sorry. Don't... Then get out of my way! Alright, now you guys better have the horses I'm looking for, or I'm gonna start shooting the place up. Alright, let's see. What do you have? Yeah, it's not what I need. I he look this one looks like a zebra. What's this one? This one's boring. She looks evil. And this one is what I have. This one's beautiful. It's actually this actually looks like Scarlet. I think this is the exact same one that I have. Yeah, see, I have that already, I think. She's already an Andalusian. I think her I think her coat is a bit of a different color, but... Oh, she is a war horse, I wonder. Oh, no, I think there might be more than that, then. Because there were bigger ones. I think Dutch's horse is one of those. Or Bill Williamson's. She's worth a lot of money. Hmm. I'm not selling Scarlet, though. Never selling Scarlet. She's my favorite. So then what do you call these horses? Why can't I buy these ones? I'm just gonna take a look and see if they even have one. Like, this is a pretty one. Can I buy this one? What are you? That's a Tennessee Walker. That's the kind you started with. I wonder if they have Clydesdales here. That'd be a really pretty horse. What are you? Are you a Tennessee Walker too? 
That's a flaxen chestnut. Is it? Is its name actually Morgan? This horse's name is Morgan, and I'm Arthur Morgan. What about this one? What kind of horse is that? He's also a Morgan. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, you're gorgeous. What are you? You an Andalusian? You're a Kentucky Saddler. Oh, you're pretty. Can I have you? Are you friendly? Can I get on you? Ooh, you're pretty. Can I buy this one? I just want to buy her. Can I have her? Can I buy her? I want her. She's pretty. I don't even know if that's a... Is that, I don't even know if that... Ooh, can I rob you? Hey, let's try robbing him. I want this horse. <laughs> Coward. Alright, now let's see here. Can I buy... Oops, hang on. Show info. Uh, you're what? Uh, it doesn't say whether you're a boy or a girl. Maybe the things will respawn after a while. Let's see. Can I buy a new one now? One of my biggest blunders that I made recently, which I didn't get on camera, was... You know how there's that guy you can sell wagons to? I, I fought off some of those uh, Lemoyne Raiders, and they had a wagon there. It was sitting there, so I wasn't stealing it. I could just take it, and I wouldn't get a bounty for it. And it came with two horses, so what I wanted to try and do was sell the two horses attached to it, and then attach my horse to the wagon, and then bring that to the guy that buys wagons at Emerald Ranch. But when I drove the wagon into the stable, it disappeared from existence. And I was so pissed off because it was a perfect opportunity. And I, like, how was I supposed to know that was going to happen? When I drive my horse in there, I'm able to drive my horse back out. It just vanished. It, it didn't respawn outside it. It just, it just disappeared into thin air. And it was so frustrating. Because not only was I not able to sell the horses, but I couldn't even sell the wagon. Oops. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to see if you have any other ones. This Andalusian's pretty, but, uh, yeah, I already have that one. Okay, so let's go to a different stable then, because you don't have what I'm looking for. Unless I was to steal that one. Is there anyone around? I don't know. Let's see what happens if I try stealing that horse. Alright, so let's do this. Stable you. Okay, now, take the saddle. Okay, cool. Good. Let's see what happens if I take this pretty horse over here. Where'd he go? Where is he? Because that was a pretty one. I like that black one. What happens if I just take it? Was it you? I think it was you. No, not you. I think it was you. Yes, you. You're the pretty one. I like you. You want to come with me? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that horse has attitude. Did you guys see that? Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Make sure it's calm and you aren't in view of the owner. Oh. Okay, so he's watching. Which means that if I want to do it, I have to kill him. Okay, hang on. Let's do this then. Where? Well, no, because I can't, because he's in there, right? So... Um... This is tricky. I want that horse. And he's not selling it like a, like he could be. What kind of a saddle... What kind of a stable only has three horses for sale? You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Please don't kick me again. 
Please don't kick me. You're okay. Hi, buddy. You're pretty. Come here. Come here. Okay, so the owner has to not be watching, it says. So where are the owners, then, if it's not letting me buy them? If I have to kill these guys, can I shoot you? the witness here. Alright, there. Now let's see if I can do it. You guys are okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Calm down, horses! Calm down! Calm down, horsies! It's okay! I'm not gonna hurt you! Horsey! It's okay! Shh! Calm! 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 Whoa! Whoa, guys! It's okay! It's okay! Shh! Calm! Hey! It's okay! There you go. Good. Now, stay there, and I'm going to try and saddle you. Easy. Come on. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Can I even saddle you? Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if it'll let me. Okay, now you stay there. I grab your saddle. I thought maybe... I thought I had had it, but I guess maybe I wasn't carrying it. Which is hopefully why I wasn't able to saddle you up there. I can't saddle this horse at the moment. Make sure it's calm and you aren't in the view of the owner, law enforcement, or other witnesses. I am! It is calm. What? Who's the witness? Who's witnessing it? What? Well, I don't see anyone. Who's witnessing it? Who saw me? What? Okay. Huh. That's very irritating and weird. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Let's get in the barn and take my horse. Oh no, am I trapped now? I thought I could get in and out of here now. We can do this. We can do this. Come on, you assholes. Bring it on. I've got the money to pay my bounty, so 
Now I just gotta wait for them to stop coming after me. Alright, here, hang on. Dynamite. Go! Dynamite! Go! I'm out of dynamite? You'll never take me alive, coppers! I'm gonna loot you before I go. Oh! Alright, well, my crime spree had to have end, end at some point. So, I didn't get the horse, but I should still have Scarlet. <coughs> that was awful, too. I really wanted that horse. Why couldn't he? That's so annoying. Like, why can't I just take it? Isn't this supposed to be, like, Grand Theft Auto? In Grand Theft Auto, if you see something... Uh... Yeah, I could... Okay, so... Oh, I'm here at the post office, apparently. Well, that works. Do I have to pay my bounty? Where's my temporary horse at? Or is this my horse. I think I'm in, where am I now, Rhodes? Or Strawberry? Yeah, Strawberry. Okay, see, now this is helpful. Mystery? I thought I sold you. Huh. Okay. I guess I'll have to ride you without your saddle then, because I have to go back to another stable and get it. And we gotta pay my bounty, maybe. Probably. We'll see. Paid it off. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's really un that's really annoying though, because I really wanted that horse, and he had like six of them in that stable that he wasn't selling. I thought I got rid of him. I don't remember having this guy. Oh no, no, this is the one I had before I had Scarlet, but I thought I sold him already. Okay. Oh, wait, no, can I... Can I take the train, maybe? Because I gotta... Whoop, 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 whoop. I gotta get out of here. Because the field here is not helpful to me, so... Oops. I mean, the stable here. Oh, is it cold? Why is it cold here? I'm in the south. Oh, what did you forget? Oh, I can't do train tickets here. Alright, well, I guess I gotta get myself back then. Right. Anyway, folks, that's all the time I have for this episode of Game on Onesies. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future, where we will maybe play more Red Dead Redemption 2 in a future episode. And until next time, peace out, and as always, Game on. See ya!